Hey guys, welcome to Cybersecurity TV. In today's episode, we're going to talk about what is MXSS. So in the past, we have talked about universal cross-site scripting, stored, DOM, and reflected uh, XSS. Uh, but what is MXSS? So MXSS and in M stands for mutation cross-site scripting. Now, in theory, when uh, when you give something to the browser, browser is not our application. Like, you know, it's not going to change anything. It's just going to reflect back as is so for example if there is an input parameter where you give the attack like you know payload like uh, alert one two and three browser is not going to change anything it's just going to give you an alert box one two and three and that's an item importance property like you know it behaves like it serves the same thing which you provide whatever the input you give now what is mutation mutation is uh, opposed to what we just talked about so mutation is changing something so for example what if you provide some value and then the application or the browser changes that and then execute that and that's the mutation based cross-site scripting and uh, the most uh, like you know um, I would say the function which uh, does all this thing is the inner HTML if you're not sure what is the inner HTML I would highly recommend go and check it out uh, the inner HTML uh, like you know of uh, property of the JavaScript uh, it actually what it does it it builds the content and and uh, and I'll show you uh, one example on, on how it happens as well now this is uh, like you know a typical workflow of um, MXSS. So here, uh, so for example, like you know, attacker, it's rather easier for attacker to kind of do MXSS because you are not providing XSS payload, but then application itself is or browser itself converts that to the XSS payload, and that's because of the inner HTML. So for example, if you see here, so attacker provides an input. Now, like, you know, there is an access filter on the application side. So, uh, of course, like, you know, application uh, would like, you know, probably if it's not an access failure, it's going to go through to the uh, browser side. Now, when it goes to the browser, browser again has an access filter. And then, like, you know, whatever the data that it got from the access filter, now it will if there is an inner HTML tag, it's going to go to that. Now it's going to mutate whatever it received from the access filter and then it will render back uh, to the user and that's how like, you know, access executes. I know it sounds a little silly and maybe too complicated, but it's not. Uh, that's why like, you know, uh, in this PDF, like the link I have right here, I'm also going to attach uh, this link and also one link to the tool uh, which you can use to kind of try hands-on uh, for MXSS in the description in the video below. So that's how like you know it all happens. Now um, it is recursive so what it means is uh, for example let's say to bypass cross-site scripting filter or controls you pretty much encode the input right so like uh, we talked about numerous times like you want to uh, convert less than to LT like this and like you know uh, GT like greater than with M percent GT so if you do this uh, application would not get that like you know it's a uh, cross-site scripting because it's already encoded but now uh, in our HTML, it's gonna convert this LT to less than GT to greater than, and which makes this payload like you know access payload because now it's not more encoded because it has gone through the inner HTML. And don't worry, I'll I'll send you a, like I have pasted a link in the description below which you can try to execute this. And this is a screenshot like you know I've taken from the same tool. Now, uh, now why it's recursive? So it's recursive because. Here, if you see, I have put like, you know, I have also encoded M person, like when you do M person AMP semicolon, that means you are actually doing M person, but encoding it. So like here, you can see it's a directly M person sign, but here I have encoded it. And then LT would be like, you know, uh, less than for the, uh, for the starting of this script, like image SRC tag. So it's gonna uh, do like, you know, LT, then it's gonna go to GT. So this is like, you know, we have used double encoding instead of single. So what you got to do, like if you see closely here, it's going to be, uh, I have chosen mutation level two because we have using 
double encoding here and then what it happens is like you know when you double so it's gonna do double mutation and that's how you see the alert box here now one thing to notice uh, this sort of uh, technique uh, tactics like you know has stopped working in the uh, in the previous browsers like you know uh, or like you know in the in the Mozilla and all other browsers uh, Chrome uh, Safari but it still works on IE mostly uh, that's why like you know the tool that you're gonna try uh, should be able to like reproduce the same scenario and that's why this is still an existing like you know this is still a dangerous type of access because people are still using inner HTML developers are, and engineers are still using inner HTML part of their code and sometimes like you know it could uh, go to the severe situation so uh, that was it uh, definitely like you know check out the description uh, check out the uh, links uh, to the tool and also there is a PDF uh, a file which has explained this attack in very depth like if you really want to curious to know about the uh, MXS then these are really good resource you should be able to go through uh, go through the steps and go through the details and and should be able to try it by yourself uh, so that's it uh, uh, on this video um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this week episode if you have not subscribed yet to my channel uh, please do uh, we talk about the application security and, and cyber security videos uh, topics and techniques and tools in general uh, so uh, and I'll be back next week uh, with another episode of the application or, or cyber security till then uh, uh, bye bye